Welcome back guys to this burst of flavor baking. This morning we are going to be making lemon poppy seed almond butter cake. And what is so special about this cake is that it is gluten free, it is diabetic friendly and it is also keto friendly. So it's going to be a mouthful of flavors for everyone despite what your diet is. I'm going to be making this cake in two phases. We're first going to make the lemon curd and then we're going to go ahead and make the poppy seed almond butter batter. To begin making the lemon curd, set some water to boil in a small pot. We're also going to need one third cup of sweetener for this curd. And four tablespoons of butter softened at room temperature. Also prepare the rind and juice from one lemon. Two medium sized eggs. You can strain it if you want to. I'm not going to strain mine. Some people strain theirs. Um, but what we want to do at this stage is to cover it with some cling wrap or plastic wrap to ensure that the top doesn't cross while it is cooling. I'm going to leave it to cool for about an hour, an hour and a half, and then it will be ready to go into the batter of the cake. The batter started, I have in this um, pan one cup of almond flour. Add to this um, cup of flour some grounded almonds. Now you can use the bleached grounded almonds or you can choose to use the unbleached ones. In other words, the skin is still left, the skin of the almond is still left on this one. And I think I'm going to use this variety which is the unbleached one. So I'm going to put half cup of unbleached grounded almonds into my cup of um, almond flour. Spoon of salt, a spoon of baking powder, a spoon of psyllium husk. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of poppy seeds, and this is the blue poppy seeds. I'm going to add about two tablespoons um, to this mix. And you can use white poppy seeds or um, black poppy seeds. To this dry ingredients bowl, I'm going to add about two or three drops of almond essence. About two teaspoons of vanilla, and this is a clear vanilla, it's not a brown vanilla. Add about one third cups of sour cream. Get back in here again and try to combine all of this about one third cup of almond butter and I'm going to add quarters cup of sweetener now I don't like my pastries particularly sweet so if you want your pastry to be your cake to be a bit sweeter go ahead and add up to about half cup of sweetener this is quarter cup of um, monk fruit sweetener and I'm going to now cream the butter the almond butter and the sweetener together so go ahead and combine the almond butter and sweetener mixture with the rest of your dry ingredients mix that you had get two eggs and we're going to beat these lightly just until they froth. Fold the egg mixture into the rest of your ingredients. Now the butter is ready to be poured into a prepared pan and I'm using an 8 inch baking pan. Pour the batter into the pan. There's still one more thing that we have to do. We have to grab that lemon custard that we made earlier and we're going to drop spoonfuls into this batter. I have my custard that I made earlier and I'm just going to use a normal soup spoon and I'm going to drop spoonfuls into the batter. Pretty much leaving, if you will, about an inch space between wherever I'm dropping this um, lemon curd and the edge or surrounding of my um, cake batter. So I'm going to be dropping it as many as possible towards the middle of the batter. I've done this. I'm going to place this um, cake into the oven to bake for about 40 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And the cake is baking. For people who like to drizzle the top of their cake with a glaze or a lemon drizzle, they can go ahead and do that. I don't like to have a drizzle on my cake. So I'm actually going to be using some, I'm going to toast some sliced almonds and add a couple more of those poppy seeds to the top of my cake. The cake actually took a little longer to bake than I thought. It took closer to about 50 to 55 minutes, but now it's freshly out of the oven. It smells great guys, it looks great, um, I'm sure it's going to taste great as well. Um, and it can be eaten like this or you can go ahead and decor the top of your cake. However you choose to serve this cake, uh, make sure that you continue to explore and to enjoy. And until next time, walk good.